Time to see how we could use a route map to change the local pref of some routes but not change it for others. And did one or two things here between videos. First off, you can see at the very top here, I did take the BGP default local pref command off of router one. No problem there, I just put the word no in front of it. Then did a soft reset out to update router 2's table. And as we go down to router 2 with show IP BGP, you can quickly see that the 172 network again has a next hop of 10114. Now, we also have a network we haven't seen there before, and that's the 210 network. I, add, I added that to routers 3 and 4 during the break. They're both advertising it, nothing tricky, the same way that they advertise the 172 network. And we've got a next hop, as we expect, of dot four for router two for the valid and best and route, uh, excuse me, the next hop with dot three is considered valid. Now, let's say we need to change the local pref of one of these routes to change the table a bit, but not all of them coming in from router one. Well, we can't use the BGP default local preference because of course that's gonna change the local pref of all the routes coming in from router one. So let's have a look at another route map. First thing we're going to do here on, excuse me, on router 1. I need to go over to 1. And I'm just pulling 7 out of the sky. 172, 12, 34, 0, 0, 0, 0, 255. And that's the ACL identifying the one route right now that we want to change the local preference for. And that's going to come down to a route map, and we'll call it double pref, permit 10, match IP address 7 or ACL 7 and set and this time local preference is just local preference because we went through that with the med right the med is actually called the metric here but here nothing fancy we just need to put local pref and we're gonna set that to 200 and I'm gonna go ahead and put in a clause that sets it to 100 for all other routes, even though that is the default, just for fun. 20, and set local pref 100. So now we need to apply it, and how do we apply a route map here in this situation? We did that earlier. We're gonna use the neighbor command. So we've got neighbor 10112, and all kinds of choices here, and the one we want, of course, there's at the very bottom with route map. Then you've got to put the name of it, so we're going to call it double pref, or we did call it double pref, and it's going to be for outbound routes, and that's it. And I'll do a soft reset for outbound. We go over to router 2, do a show IP BGP. And you can see the next hop for 172.12.34 is now dot three, and the local pref was successfully changed to 200. And we can run show IP BGP 172.12.34.0. Take a little more detailed look. We see that both paths, excuse me, we see that both paths are valid, and we also see the change in the local pref. And right now that makes all the difference, and it's using the next hop of 10.113. You can you can see where this is just super handy, you know, and, and when you get fluent with route maps, you are going to just be able to do anything you need to with BGP, not just at the beginning level, which is kind of where we are now, uh, but the intermediate and advanced levels. Because bringing this back up, this is just a word of the wise, especially those of you who are looking at getting your CCIE. Uh, when it comes to setting, I mean, look at all the different values that we can set here, you know, where we can add to an AS path. We don't actually do that in this course. You'll do it in a more advanced course, but if you want to make an AS path longer to affect that best path selection process, you can do it with uh, setting an AS path and then just add some numbers there. Uh, you've got other things. We've got a default we could set, and we just changed local pref. We use the med, and we've got an origin code we could set there. We know how important that is. And that bottom one, BGP weight, we have not seen that one in action yet. And that is the very first attribute that BGP is going to look at in that best path selection process. So coming up on the next video, by golly, we are going to see the weight attribute in action.